Do you think that the state of the art in access control is there for rag based solutions to be feasible in a in a SaaS like setting? Yeah, that's a good question. I think rag uh, for well, of course, like to take a step back, the fact that you're doing rag does give you the ability to implement access controls versus fine tuning. So that actually is an inherent advantage of doing rag versus trying to like train a model over all data. If that like certain piece of that data are gated to certain types of the users, if you actually bake all the information into the model suites through training on it, it's almost impossible to do like proper access control. I think it's, that's just a very hard problem that no one really wants to deal with. Right, because how do you prevent like this this model from like leaking information to someone that wasn't supposed to see this information? Like I don't know. Um, and so what RAG actually does enable, and this is something that's very useful, is that because that that data is not part of that model's training set, and instead is just fed to the model during inference time, you can basically implement some sort of software system, right, or during that data that whole like data retrieval piece uh, to make sure that. For a given user that's asking a question using this RAG pipeline, only the amount of like the data that user has access to is getting fed to the LLM. Um, so the LLM itself doesn't store that data, um, but that data is coming from some source where you can implement proper access controls. I think there's definitely a lot of interest in this space right now. I think for a lot of users who are implementing access controls, like it's not that different from just implementing like user auth or basically just authentication in pretty much any other web application. Because a lot of RAG is just setting up like writes uh, IDs and stuff on your storage systems on like the data ingestion piece. That said, I think especially since the space is still somewhat early, people are still figuring out the best practices and vector databases themselves are also uh, kind of uh, like basically making improvements on how do you actually store access control data within the storage layer.